Rwanda Surwa Gahararo It's a special family, and what makes them special is their love story that shocked everyone. They were in a relationship since 2018. The woman knew the man had both legs functioning very well, only to find out that all legs were amputated after their beautiful wedding day a few months ago. But this did not stop the woman from loving the man. This is their story. Deborah, also known as Bora, is the wife officially to Jean Dodier. Jean Dodier's name is shortened to Jado. Jean Dodier tells us more of his life story before they met. Jado was born normal, but when he turned seven years, him and the whole family fled to Congo due to war outbreaks causing insecurity in the region. On their way coming back, a bomb exploded. The last thing he remembered was the explosion and some noises before he went in coma. He never knew what followed but woke up finding himself in a hospital, doctors working on his body. After multiple scans and examinations, doctors decided to remove the second leg as they could see it might cause more cancer-related problems. He had seven when he was amputated. He never liked doctors. He saw them as enemies. As a young child, he could not understand how people would agree to take off all his legs. He knew life was going to be tough. During all those bad days, his mother was the one who was around. She took care of the boy as much as she could, and later, the worst of all happened. The mother got pregnant. It was now time for her to give birth. But this did not go as one would want to hear. She had a stillbirth. The baby died from the womb. It even got worse, as the mother had a maternal death too. This was too much sorrow and weeping to whoever had this saddest story. <laughs> It kept getting worse and worse from day to day. He remained with his dad. One year later, the dad fell sick and later lost his breath mysteriously. Suffering and life struggles began from there. He was left with her sister who was three years older. That was the beginning of a helpless life without parents. It was difficult for such young orphans to raise themselves at such a young age. He went through hell of a life as some of his family members would not let him live with them due to being disabled. As a young kid, he always wanted to join others in playing football, but whenever he remembered that he had no legs, the depression level increased. He started hating himself and asking himself a lot of questions on his existence. This went too far and he even thought of committing suicide. He later met some nuns and they took him to a certain hospital. The boy was given a movement therapy, also known as kinesiotherapy. He was given some prosthetics freely as they could clearly see that is what he needed, though he could not afford. This took too long for him to get used to walking in them, but he finally got used to it. He had lost hope. From there, he met other disabled people. The support he was given helped him restore his hope for humanity. He was now walking upright and started developing a great sense of self-belief. After finishing high school, he discovered a talent hidden in him, and that was singing. The first song he wrote was about disabled people. 
After a few days, there was a competition among talented disabled people. He went in that singing competition and among the audience, there was someone who was going to be the love of his life. ndi muri competition nibwo twaje guhura umva kuri stage ba meza festation twagane ariko mwabone nafite ibibazo byinshi ashaka kumbasa ati none se buri ya yuri kurimba kuri ya ufite imbago gahagara umwanya nubabara bavuga ati nyine nakundi umuntu nyine agomba kwihangana from there they shared contacts and later became friends after five months communicating as usual, the man fell in love with this woman. It reached at a certain point where the man wanted to propose the girl. He was afraid of telling the girl that he's having no legs. He feared rejections due to words from people who told the man that he will look for a disabled partner. And such words would make him lose hope. Yes, yarazi ko mbese ari ukuvunika bisanzwe kuko nta munsi n'umwe nare mwiyeretse nakuye amamaguru ahubwo icyo gihe byaje kugera aho ngaho noneho nkebe biza kumbere ihurizo rikomeye kuko urumva yaramenye tumaze igihe kinini dukundana noneho nza gutekereza n'abase se ko numva afite umushinga wo kuba nabana nawe kuko yambaga hafi pe ariko nkagira bwa bwo bwo kumwiyere kukonda aba ati ni mwiyere ka kona cyitsa amaguru aranyanga ari igendera when bora met shado and saw him walking using this cane she thought the man had an accident and it was not going to last as they fell in love and wanted to take this to another level of getting married the woman still never knew the man had no legs until the wedding day as they had promised themselves to stay pure until marriage they organized themselves and invited people in their wedding. They got married legally and in the church. They had a wonderful wedding to remember. It was a big party and celebrations. After the wedding, they went home and the man presented a shocking surprise. He showed the woman who he really was. The woman was shocked after knowing the truth. The man explained himself starting from his past history. He feared being alone for the second time after losing all his people. He never wanted to lose a lover. After knowing all what happened, what she did was incredible. She decided to love the man and protect him more and more. The man on the other side was ready for a negative feedback. He was afraid that it would end up in tears. But the girl loved the man's personality, not his legs. Timara kuinyereka byamaye impamvu nyinshi zo kumukunda. Zama imbaraga. Imbaraga zidasanzwe ubwo numvishe ko ngomba gukora byinshi kugira ngo jado agire umunezero uruta kuba yarahuye nibazo bitandukanye kujya mu bagize ibyakera ibyubwana ibyabantu amusebyaga ibyabantu bamu bamucaga inege dero nayo zati nubwo afite icyo cyo maguru nago byatuma urukundo rumufitiye ruba rwacogora everyone who knew that the man is disabled wondered why such a beautiful looking lady would choose to live with such a man the woman faced a lot of people discouraging her and stopping her from living with such a man. But she was keen on doing whatever it takes and remain with this husband. She was told a couple of times to choose a guy with a lot of properties, luxurious cars, good houses and a lot more. But she says she could not control her feelings and her feelings were always on this man. Atha now having a good life despite what people said. Those who knew the truth thought the relationship would not last longer. People always told the man that the wife would abandon him after just one week. Days went by and now it's almost eight months. They still love each other and share whatever they have. And they will always love each other no matter what. 
Though he walks by the support of prosthetics, he says the got old and affording new ones is so costly that he cannot afford it by himself. He's here asking for the support so as to get new ones. You can help and contribute on the GoFundMe campaign so as to support this man. People with physical disabilities are just as deserving and capable of love as anyone. They still have all the emotional needs of any human. Love will always win. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah and this is Afrimax English. Remember to subscribe.